The following is a list of clones of Sinclair Research's ZX Spectrum home computer. Topic: Official clones. The only official clones of the Spectrum were made by Timex. There were three models developed, only two of which were released. Topic. Timex Sinclair 2068 A significantly more sophisticated machine than the original Spectrum. The most significant changes were the addition of a cartridge port, an A38912 sound chip and an improved ULA giving access to better graphics modes. The TS-2068 was marketed in the United States, while very similar machines were marketed in Portugal and Poland as the Timex Computer 2068 TC-2068 and Unipolbrit Computer 2086 UK-2086 respectively. A small amount of TC-2068 were also sold in Poland. Timex Computer 2048 A machine similar to the Spectrum 48K, but with the improved ULA from the TC2068 allowing access to the improved graphics modes. Marketed only in Portugal and Poland. <laughs> Timex Sinclair 2048 A never released variant of the TS2068 with 16 kilobytes of RAM. Topic: <inaudible> Unofficial clones. Topic: <inaudible> 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 ATM. ATM, ATM Turbo was developed in Moscow, in 1991, by two firms, MicroArt and ATM. It has Z80 at 7 MHz, 1024 KB RAM, 128 KB ROM, A8910, two ones in upgraded models, 8-bit DAC, 8-bit 8-channel ADC, minus 232 rupees, Centronics, beta disk interface, ID interface, AT, XT keyboard, text mode, 80 times 25, 16 possible colors, 8 times 8 pattern, and 3 graphics modes. Topic AZX Monstrum, an open project to build a ZX Spectrum compatible computer. The CPU is Zilog Z380, a 32-bit version of the Z80, capable of running at 40 MHz. It has its own graphic adapter, at keyboard, own BIOS, and extended basic ROM and RAM expandable up to 4 GB linear. The computer is supposed to be almost 100% compatible. Standard devices of a HDD controller, DMA versus IRQ controller, ROM task switching and more. So far only the HDD controller is produced but the rest exists as drawings. All the plans are freely available. Topic: <laughs> Baltica A Russian clone of the 48K ZX Spectrum. ULA replacement made with K556PT4 and K155PE3. CPU running at a higher frequency 4 MHz, which made it less compatible. <laughs> Best 3 A ZX Spectrum clone made in St. Petersburg, Russia in 1993. The size of the system unit is 16.8 times 10 times 2 and a half inches. It even uses a Russian Z80 clone as CPU. Topic: <laughs> Biam ZX Spectrum 48 64ths and 128. 
a Russian clone of the ZX Spectrum. The name of the Biam ZX Spectrum 4864 suggests that it comes with 64 kilobytes RAM. The size of the system unit is 10 times 8.4 times 2 inches. Made of metal. Has the sign made in RF Russian Federation at the back. It was produced in 1992-1994. The Biam ZX Spectrum 128 was a 128 kilobytes version of the same computer. <laughs> Cobra A ZX Spectrum clone built in Brasov, Romania. 1, 2. Topic CIPO3. A Romanian ZX Spectrum clone made by Intraprindria Electronica. It is called Calculator Pentru Instrua Personala, which means computer for personal teaching. The keyboard looks nice, but the key switches are very simple and therefore so is that feeling. A nicely built PCB with 45 chips most 74 family inside. The ROM is original Sinclair, although instead of the Sinclair copyright message, it states basic S. Only one set of 8 times 1 bit 64 kilobytes RAMs present. The power supply is the size and weight of a couple of bricks including a huge transformer unlike the now standard switching power supply. Topic: <laughs> Composite. A Russian clone of the ZX Spectrum with 48 kilobytes RAM 3. It is a modified version of Leningrad 2 produced by Co-op Composite. Cherwini CZ The Cherwini CZ2000, Cherwini CZ Spectrum and Cherwini CZ Spectrum Plus were Argentinian-produced clones. Delta A Russian clone of ZX Spectrum Plus manufactured in 1991, at a former military plant, near the city of Zelenograd. Fully compatible with the Spectrum Plus, the Delta came equipped with 48 KB of RAM, video output, cassette in, out, two joysticks ports both Kempston and Sinclair, RGB adjustment controls, and its own expansion port for Russian hardware. The Delta originally sold for about 620 German marks, and sold very well, for a few months it was on the best-seller list in the region. At least in Czechoslovakia the machines sold under the name Delta around 1986, were re-badged unsold ZX Spectrum Plus from the UK. As they were actually ZX Spectrum Plus they resemble no further similarities with the Russian clone. Various stickers cover up hints of made in the UK and official Sinclair badging. It was coming with an original English user guide along with very good translation and the original cassette of the game Checkered Flag, more possibly related to Delta S128. <laughs> Delta S128 A Russian clone of ZX Spectrum built in Voronezh, Kazan and other cities since 1990 that can run at up to 7 MHz. Comes with Kempston and Sinclair joystick ports and ports both for TV and RGB monitor. It has a printer interface and sound processor. As it is a modular design you can add disk controller. Delta SA and Delta SB These were derivatives from the Delta series. Changes included more relaxed hardware planning, bigger case and partially non-compatible ROM. 
The machine had built-in Russification feature, which was toggling car set to Russian when pressing the dedicated key, sending basic code number 209, and back to English car set, sending basic code number 210. These changes disallow any floppy drive usage with these clones, and also a lot of hacked titles using famous "hacked by Bill Gilbert" loader will not launch. Later, corrected ROM was released, which while still not able to work with floppy, was more compatible with game titles, but still not was fully compatible. Games like Pole Position or Star Fox will crash after loading. Additional changes were introduced in Delta SB. It has extended ROM, and came with four game titles pre-built in. These titles were selected by additional hardware switches, located at top left side of computer. Pressing any of them will cause immediate reset and load of the corresponding title. Included titles generally vary, but most popular were Commando, Astro Marine Corps, Dan Dare 3, Star Invaders 2. Some of these clones were manufactured in Tbilisi, Republic of Georgia, at currently abandoned military scientific plant, Skivy. No references to real manufacturer was given, and all data refer like this was an original product from Zelenograd. The difference may be noted by the correction table of user manual. In original manual, it was hand-written and rotoscoped. The Georgian release included computer-typed correction list. Topic. Didactic The Didactic was a series of home computers produced in Skalica, former Czechoslovakia, now Slovakia. Later models compatible with ZX Spectrum were based on the U880 and Zilog Z80 processors. There were three main models of Didactic ZX clones, first was Didactic Gamma released in three variants 87, 88 and 89. Didactic Gamma has 80 KB RAM comparing to original ZX Spectrum. Gamma series was soon followed by the Didactic M first variant released at 1990 second variant release at 1991, M contain much better keyboard and Sinclair and Kempston joystick ports. Last ZX Spectrum compatible model was Didactic Compact 1991, which has integrated 3, 5 floppy disk mechanic and sound CHIPAY 3-8920 and still 48 kilobytes of RAM. Topic: <laughs> Dubner 48K a Soviet clone of the ZX Spectrum home computer. It was based on an analog of the Zilog Z80 microprocessor. Its name comes from Dubna, a town near Moscow where it was produced, and 48K stands for 48 KBs of RAM. Ella <laughs> Ra <laughs> Also known as the Alara Disk 128 was a Russian clone of the 128K ZX Spectrum with 58-key keyboard, disk drive, Kempston and Sinclair joystick. It is possible to expand it but it's slightly incompatible due to some ports are changed. 4 5 Topic: <laughs> Elro 800 Junior Polish clones of the ZX Spectrum. It had a full-size keyboard and even a paper holder. The reason it has a paper holder is that the case was originally designed for a small electric organ. A disk drive was available and there also was a version of CP.M called CP.J for this machine. The updated 804 Junior PC had an internal 3.5 disk drive. In Poland the computer that won a contest for being the school computer, Elro 800 Junior, used DIN connectors for monitor output, cassette adapter, and Junet. Junet had two inputs, in and out like MIDI. 
student computers connected by DIN cables to the teacher's computer, which had the costly floppy drive and printer. Other uses of Junet were for sending messages, or to allow the teacher to see what students are doing on the screens, at the teacher's computer. The computer had also optional spectrum net, but it was simple jack input-output. To send data the user had to do save on cassette in spectrum mode, and input had to be connected to Timex, spectrum. Other ports used D subminiature connectors, for RGB video, joystick, printer, and floppy drive. Felix HC series A series of ZX Spectrum clones was manufactured in Romania from 1985 to 1994, by Ice Felix. The designation HC means home computer, and for the first three models in the series, the number is the year of first manufacture. Models in the series were, HC85, HC88 HC90, HC91, HC91+, HC128, HC2000, HC386. The earliest version, HC85, closely resembled the Spectrum, with a built-in BASIC interpreter, Z80A processor, 48KB RAM, tape, and TV interfaces. It was used in schools, universities and as a personal computer. An optional Interface 1 extension was available for the HC85, HC90, and HC91. It was functionally similar to the ZX Interface 1, but instead of microdrives it supported single-density or double-density floppy disks. The HC90 had a redesigned circuit board supporting fewer, larger memory chips, it was functionally equivalent with the HC85. The HC91 had a modified keyboard with 50 keys instead of 40. It had 64 kilobytes RAM and extra circuitry which provided CP.M support, if the Interface 1 extension was also present. The HC2000 manufactured from 1992 to 94 had a built-in 3.5-inch 720 kilobytes disk and 64 kilobytes RAM. It could be used both as a Spectrum clone with added disk functionality, only 48 kilobytes RAM available, or in CP/M mode, giving access to the full 64 kilobytes memory. Essentially, it brought the HC91, Interface 1, and floppy disk in a single case. The last model to be made in the Z80 line was the HC91+. It was a ZX Spectrum 128K clone in a HC91 case and keyboard and had some compatibility problems. For the first time, the A8910 sound chip was offered as an add-on service and was soldered on the board by factory technicians. Demosene demos had problems running multi-color effects and displaying sound VU meter-like effects lacking some data from the A chip probably. <laughs> Grandrom Max. A Russian clone of the ZX Spectrum made in 1993 in Moscow. It is very similar to the Pentagon but it is remade to be like the original. There exists four or five models of it but there are only minor differences between them, for instance one has wrong release turbo beta disk interface so when you read, write disks on your own GRM everything is normal, but when you want to save something to this disk on any another machine then all information on disk will be destroyed. They are not easy to expand because of some PLM small ones chips inside which does not allow you take some signals you may need to attach modem, etc. The GRM2 Plus board was used to create the GrandBoard 2 Plus. <laughs> GrandBoard 2 Plus A Russian clone of ZX Spectrum the size is 350 times 280 times 35 millimeters, 13.2 times 8.4 times 2 inches. 
developed and manufactured from 1994, by Independent Science Manufacturing Laboratory of Computer Techniques in City Fragzino. Based on board GRM2+, CPU, Z80 NEC, 8-bit, Clock frequency, 3, 45 MHz Capacity of the main memory, 128 KB Text, 24 x 32, 8 possible colors Graphics, 256 x 192, 8 possible colors Software, BASIC, TR-DOS 5. 03, LPRINT3 Hardware, Turbo, Storage on Cassettes, FDD2 720 KB, Mouse, Sound Processor A-8910 m, YM2149F, Printer Harlequin A UK clone of the 48K ZX Spectrum, designed and developed by Chris Smith to aid the reverse engineering of the ZX Spectrum custom ULA chip, and its research documentation. Complete in 2008, it is the first 100% timing compatible clone. Until 2012-13 the Harlequin existed only as a breadboard prototype, but recently, José Leandro Martínez, Ingo Truppel and others produced a limited number of PCB versions documented here as an exact board replacement for an actual ZX Spectrum. <laughs> HT3080C A Hungarian ZX Spectrum clone made by Hiradas Technikai S. Zovetkeze, released in 1986. It was the third computer from the company. The two first computers HT1080Z and HT2080Z were clones of TRS-80 and were unsuccessful because of the poor graphics features and high price. They were both school computers. In 1986, in Hungary the school computers have to fulfill new requirements, they have to produce high-resolution graphics and support the special Hungarian characters. That's why the HT3080C came out and it was both compatible with the previous HT machines as well as the ZX Spectrum. You could switch between TRS-80 and ZX Spectrum mode. It had a graphics resolution of 256 by 192 standard specy and an 8 chip for sound to be compatible with the previous HT machines not with the 128k spectrum ROM 32 kilobytes specy plus HT ROMs RAM 64 kilobytes possibly also a requirement for Hungarian school computers because all school computers in Hungary had 64 kilobytes it had a Commodore serial port so you could also connect peripherals made for the C64 to it, for instance the 1541 disk drive. <laughs> Hobbit A Soviet, Russian 8-bit home computer, based on the Sinclair Research ZX Spectrum hardware architecture. It also featured a CP, M mode and 4th mode or logo mode, with the 4th or logo operating environment residing in an onboard ROM chip. <laughs> Inverse Spectrum 48K Plus A clone of the ZX Spectrum Plus from Investronica in Spain. Released after Amstrad bought Sinclair Research Limited. Looked much like a normal 48 Plus. It has compatibility problems with some games, Bomb Jack, Commando, Top Gun, etc. On the rear there was a Kempston joystick connector. <laughs> Jet A Romanian clone. The casing was adapted from a telephone. Topic K1024. A Russian clone of the ZX Spectrum that came in 1998. 
It was made by Nemo Company and has 1,024 kilobytes of RAM and was a rival of Scorpion ZS 256 and has a slightly lower price. It has controller for PC keyboard and HDD but not for floppy although it was available as an extension card. It's very easy to connect general sound. Has turbo mode at 10 MHz. Topic. Krasnogorsk A Russian clone of the ZX Spectrum which used PZYK573 PF2 to produce the TV signal. It was developed and manufactured from 1991 but was never made in as many copies as the Leningrad 1. Crispin. A Czechoslovakian clone of ZX Spectrum, developed by Frantisek Kubis at 1984, student of FSUST Electrotechnical Faculty of Slovak Technical University, Bratislava. ULA designed from discrete 74XXICs, screen part or RAM was synchronized perfectly, without CPU blocking. KV Aurum. A series of Russian ZX Spectrum clones. KV Aurum had 48K KB memory. Probably a clone of the standard 48K Spectrum. KV Aurum 64 had 64 kilobytes memory. KV Aurum 128 was a clone with built-in tests, memory monitor and copying in ROM. Possibility to run CP, M and TR DOS beta disk. KV Aurum 128 Plus was as the KV Aurum 128 but comes with built in 3.5 drive. <inaudible> Leningrad A series of two Russian clones of the ZX Spectrum. In 1989, came Leningrad 1 a clone of the 48K which came to be the cheapest of the mass-made clones. They attempted to make the design as simple as possible and more compact. The only addition was a joystick port. It was designed by Sergei Zanov who later went on and created the Scorpion. Leningrad 2 came in 1991. The joystick was changed to Kempston compatible and the keyboard was much improved. It sold in great numbers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Master. A clone of the ZX Spectrum made in Russia in 1990. It runs at 2.5 MHz with 48 kilobytes RAM. It has ports for Sinclair and Kempston joysticks. The name suggests it's related to Master K11. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Master K. A Russian clone of the ZX Spectrum made in Ivanovo in 1991. 48 kilobytes RAM, 16 kilobytes ROM and built-in Kempston joystick interface. The size of the system unit is 14 times 8 times 2 and a half inches. The weight is 1.5 kilograms approximately. Topic: <laughs> Microdigital TK90X. The TK90X was the first Brazilian ZX Spectrum clone made in 1985, by Microdigital Electronica, a company located at São Paulo, Brazil, that manufactured some ZX81 clones before 82 Tarkas, TK82C, 83 Tarkas and 85 Tarkas and a ZX80 clone 80 Tarkas. The ROM were hacked to allow a new DG editor and accented characters incompatibility issues are very rare or none. The keyboard membrane is more resistant than the original from ZX Spectrum 48K very similar to the actual PS2, USB keyboard we use now, and there is also a Sinclair-compatible joystick connector between expansion and mic, ear connectors.
Topic: Microdigital 95 Tarkas. The 95 Tarkas microcomputer was the evolution of TK90X made in the 1980s by Microdigital Electronica, a company located at Sao Paulo, Brazil, that manufactured some ZX81 clones before 82 Tarkas, TK82C, 83 Tarkas, and 85 Tarkas, and a ZX80 clone, 80 Tarkas. The first version was launched in November 1986. This evolution was mostly cosmetic at the keyboard and whole abs plastic case the board is exactly the same as the tk90x and its 16 kilobytes rom has only minor differences topic <laughs> mistrum a check clone of the 48k zx spectrum the ROM include Roman chars and Roman chars with Czech diacritic marks. As the Mistum was A is a hardware design they may look very different as each builder made his own case and keyboard. An article on how to build a Mistrum was published in the Czechoslovak amateur radio magazine Amateurše Radio near 189th. Moskva. <inaudible> <inaudible> Moskva was the name of two ZX Spectrum clones. Moskva 48K, Moskva Moscow was the first mass-produced clone of the 48K Spectrum in Russia. It was first made in 1988. Moskva 128K was a faithful clone of ZX Spectrum 128K with built-in printer interface, joystick, TV, RGB port but without sound processor and disk drive. It was first made in 1989. Nefania A Russian ZX Spectrum clone from 1990, designed for transport in a case. It was made for diplomatic offices and children. It is compatible with Dubna 48K and has a joystick port. At the time of launch time the price was 650 rubles. Topic: <inaudible> Parus V201, Parus VI201. Parus VI201. Sale VI201. Topic: Pentagon Topic Peters MC64 A Russian ZX Spectrum clone from around 1993. Size is 14 x 7.2 x 2 inches. The name suggests that it has 64 kilobytes of RAM and was made by Peters Plus, Limited that went on to make the Sprinter. Peter's MC64S1 has service monitor, additional ROM, fast loading in the RAM frequently used software. Assembler and monitor, test of a video and copyist for tape are included in first version service monitor. Peter's MC64S2 has service monitor 2, which included of Tetris, test of a video, copyist for tape and text editor. It has a printer slot. Topic Peters two hundred and fifty six A Russian clone of the ZX Spectrum Peters MD two five six S three has service monitor three, including an alternate for TR DOS disk operational system is DOS. Topic Robic A ZX Spectrum clone produced between 1989 and 1994, by Celto Rota Scientifically Technical Industrial Creative Association a former military factory. <laughs> Profi 
a Soviet ZX Spectrum clone developed in 1991, in Moscow by Condor and Kramas. It has Z80 at 7 MHz, up to 1024 kilobytes RAM, 64 kilobytes ROM, Centronics, AY8910 sound chip, Beta 128 disk interface, ID interface, and 512 by 240 multicolor, i.e. two possible colors per 8 times one block graphics mode for CPM. Users like to plug in two 8-bit DACs to play four-channel modules of Screen Tracker. It was possible to run CP.M and a graphics mode with 512 by 240 pixels was added to be able to run 80 characters per row. It has both parallel and serial ports, sound processor and the possibility to use an IBM keyboard. In later issues it also had a hard disk interface and turbo mode. RR Spectrum A East German private clone of the ZX Spectrum. 6 Santaka 002 A clone of ZX Spectrum Plus produced in 1990 in Lithuania. It has Russian symbols instead of lower case English and is reported to be a good and reliable machine because it was produced by ex-military plants as a part of conversion program. <laughs> Scorpion ZS-256 Scorpion, Russian, Scorpion was a very widespread ZX Spectrum clone produced in St. Petersburg, Russia by Sergei Zanov. It had a Z80 processor and from 256 to 1024 kilobytes memory, the shadow service monitor debugger in the basic ROM activated by pressing the magic button NMI, a program with additional included ZX word editor, a clock, HDD utilities and more. Various extensions were produced, including SMUC, adapter of IDE and ISA slots, which allowed the use of IBM PC compatible hard drives and extension cards. Topic: <laughs> Seva Nord 48002. A Russian clone of the ZX Spectrum. It was made in 1990 and comes with 64 kilobytes RAM and 16 kilobytes ROM. The size of the system unit is 12 by 8 by 2 half an inch. The weight is 1.5 kilogram. Topic: <laughs> Sintes and Sintes. A Soviet clone of the ZX Spectrum developed in the Signal factory within the Moldovan SSR in 1989. The original Sintes resembled the Spectrum Plus model, while the Sintes was an improved version with a more common mechanical keyboard, an added serial port, as well as the ability for an 8080 or related processor for example 8255 to be added and used together with the UA880. While it was software compatible with ZX Spectrum 48K and has two interface two joystick ports, its hardware was quite different, utilizing different memory chip setup, lacking slowdown when accessing certain areas of memory, as in original ZX Spectrum, so, certain applications and games may not behave correctly or crash. Spectral. an East German clone of the ZX Spectrum. It came with built-in joystick interface and either 48 or 128 kilobytes RAM. It was sold in kit form by Hubner Electronic. Topic: <laughs> Spec TR48 A Russian clone of the 48K ZX Spectrum. It used a membrane keyboard and has both Latin and Cyrillic letters. 
It was made in 1991, by Oil PC Manufacturer, a former military factory. The ROM includes a monitor program. Sprinter Topic Symbol Russian clone of ZX Spectrum, produced on JSC Radio Zavid in Penza from nineteen ninety to nineteen ninety five. Topic Tims TIMS was developed around the University of Timișoara in Romania and the name TIMS comes from Timișoara and Spectrum. The models were extended in various ways and production continued into the early 1990s. The computer is fully compatible with ZX Spectrum, but comes with 64 KB RAM. At the back it has source Arlem, parallel and serial connectors, cassette player, monitor and TV connector, reset button. Later models have a joystick connection, 192 KB RAM and A38912 sound chip. <laughs> ZX Next also known as ZX Forum 2 or XX Freum 2. A relatively unsuccessful Russian clone of the ZX Spectrum. It was designed with two Z80 processors, one serving as the video processor, and had an minus 232 rupees port, turbo mode, IBM keyboard, 10 megabits per second local network and a CGA graphics mode with 640 by 200 pixel resolution. The memory is expandable to 512 kilobytes. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Software emulators. Several emulators are also available to enable Spectrum software to be run on other hardware. <inaudible> 